All right, so it turns out there are three. There's actually three definitions of acids and bases. They, sort of, they sort of build upon each other, and they come about just basically for historical purposes. All right, when they first study, started studying acids and bases, um, the first uh, definition to catch um, on, you know, in terms of popularity, was the one developed by Arrhenius, so the Arrhenius definition. Uh, then later we started learning more, you know, that, that's generally how the, the story of science goes. We start learning more and more about the uh, concept we're studying, and so we learned a little bit more about acids and bases. We came up with the Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases. That's the second one we'll talk about. That will be the one we use most of the time. That gets us most of the, most of the job done. And then, of course, we kept on learning more and more about acids and bases until we came up with the Lewis acids, uh, um, Lewis definition of acids and bases. And so that's like the catch-all for all acids and bases. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll start at the beginning uh, for Arrhenius. Uh, Arrhenius and Brown cell are kind of used interchangeably. So uh, we talked about this in general chemistry once, so it probably shouldn't come as, you know, it might ring some bells, okay? So for the Arrhenius definition of acids, so an acid is a substance that produces what? What do they produce? H plus, good. So they produce H plus ions in solution. <coughs> so what's your favorite acid? HCl. HCl, mine too. That's so cool. All right, so HCl, hydrochloric acid, it is an acid because when you uh, place hydrochloric acid, HCl, the molecule, in solution, it ionizes to form H plus and Cl minus. Good. So that covalent bond between hydrogen and chlorine really does, you know, break. Um, and that ionizes, creates ions. That's why we use the term ionizes instead of dissociates. Like when the ionic compounds this separated in uh, solution, they were just separated. They weren't like making a chemical chain. So a base, doo -doo -doo, a base is a substance. that produces what in OH negative, the hydroxide ion, OH minus, good, ions in solution. All right, so what's your favorite base? Sodium hydroxide, mine too. Oh, we learned a lot about each other. All right. So yes, yeah, sodium hydroxide is a very good, strong base. So if you dissolve sodium hydroxide in solution, it's a soluble ionic compound. What do soluble ionic compounds do in solution? What's that? Dissociate. Yeah, they separate or dissociate. And so yeah, the sodium ion goes swimming around. And then the hydroxide ion goes swimming around. So those are the Arrhenius definitions. Acids are anything that plus produce H plus ions in solution. And then the H plus ion is what really is the acid. That's what reacts with, say, metals to dissolve them. And then anything that produces OH minus ions in solution, that's considered base, and that's what reacts. The hydroxide starts to react with things. That's what's caustic in nature. <coughs> Now, of course, acids and bases react with each other, don't they? So that's the neutralization reaction, or they add just the acid-base reaction if you want to go that route. So acid-base reaction. It 
is just the H plus, the net ionic equation would be H plus from the acid plus OH minus from the base. And what is that going to make? Water, yep. All right, so we make water. This projector doesn't do a good job of differentiating. This is supposed to be like a maroon up here. This is a red. It doesn't do its justice. I like the maroon color. So when it comes to you, better on my. All right, so that was the uh, first definition of acids and bases, okay? Something that produces H plus ions, and then uh, something that produces hydroxide ions, okay? And then, of course, started studying a little bit more, uh, looking into it, doing more research, and we sort, sort of figured out it's a little bit more complicated than that. And primarily, <coughs> the two uh, new things that we found out is that the H plus ion really doesn't uh, stick around for very long. Okay, it doesn't just go swimming around in solution. It actually reacts very quickly with things, and even in water, it reacts with something. And then the other thing is uh, about bases is sometimes uh, there can be a reaction involved to produce that hydroxide. So that brings us to our second definition.